Ladies and gentlemen, Heart of the Earth is excited to welcome you to the new environmental TV game show, where good stewardship of the whole earth begins in our own community. And now, here's your sustainability host, Angela Hart. Welcome to the Environmental TV Game Show, where we have fun learning to take care of the environment. We're talking about sustainability, the environment, and we've wow. got the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, we thank you for being here, we thank you for watching. We thought it would be a good idea first to thank some people, such as Garden Side Up, they donated some souvenirs for you students, and Staples, Pie Pizza, Goodfellas Pizza, Stop and Shop, and ShopRite, they're all donated and we want to thank them. And I wish to thank Staten Island Tech for letting us film here. It's been such a pleasure. The crew is so professional. Uh, Frank Mazza, thank you for giving us this opportunity, for believing in it. We really appreciate that you let us do this. So let's have fun. Let's play the game. And so we thought it would be good to introduce everybody who's participating on the game. Start with you today. What is your name and what school do you go to? Monica Grabowski and I'm from Europe High School. And what do you like to do? I like to play sports and to draw. Wonderful. And you? I'm Stacy, and I'm from New York High School, and I like to read and write. Read and write. And look at the camera and tell them about yourself, Victoria. Um, hi, my name is Victoria, and I go to New York High School. Um, I love fashion, and I also like to read on my spare time. Beautiful. And you? Hi, my name is Jessica Menica. I am a junior at New York High School, and I like to travel and um, um, play sports. Sir? I'm Jay Campbell from Goodfellas on Victory Boulevard. I'm the general manager. Wonderful. We have a great team. So you're the students, and he's the green partner that's going to help you. And on this side... <clears throat> uh, my name is Bernard Veneziano. Um, I'm an athlete. I like to golf, and I also play football. Whoa, okay. And Lauren, tell us about you. Hi, my name's Lauren. I go to Fort Richmond. I'm a junior, and I'm on the track team. Wonderful. Hi, my name's Mopi Da Silva. I love playing the piano, and I love reading. Terrific. And you, Mr. Mirage, is that how you say your name? Yes. I love it. Yeah, I like to play guitar and I run track as well. What kind of music do you like to play? I need to hide. All music. That's terrific. And you, sir. <coughs> Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Salemi. I'm owner and partner of Northside Animal Hospital in Port Richmond. And they take very good care of domestic animals as well as life because this is our guest speaker. Introduce yourself and where are you from? My name is Jessica Kratz, former park ranger and the coordinator of the Greenbelt Nature Center on Staten Island. Wonderful. So Jessica is here and she's going to speak for about eight to ten minutes about rocks, rocks that rock. And your job is to listen very closely <coughs> because after that we're going to ask you questions. If you get them right, you score one point and your green partners are going to mark one point for each score for your team respectively. If you don't get it right, it's going over to the other team. We're starting with this team today and then the questions go to you. We always take a fresh question and we recycle the question we originally asked. We save it for later, okay? At this point I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Kratz. Let me see your questions and I'll be spinning the wheel when appropriate. So the board, okay? Sorry. And as you see right here, beautiful Stat Island, about 60 square miles. It's broad-shouldered and narrow-waisted, 14 miles long by, by 7 miles wide at its widest point. And in that tells a lot of interesting stories about time, a very long, long time ago. And um, a past that we can't remember and it's not really written about is, is evidenced in our rocks. And um, one of the more interesting rocks that we have on Staten Island that tells a very different story is serpentinite. Looks really hard, but on the Mohs scale of hardness, it's only a number two, meaning it's about as hard as your fingernail, and a penny, which is a number three, can scratch it, believe it or not. Wow. And um, I chose this rock kind of deliberately. It looks a little bit like the continent of Africa, which is interesting because this rock is also found on the continent of Africa. Okay. Um, another subject I like is green cleaning products. And um, the, the fact that bacteria on wine creates vinegar. And vinegar could be used to do a lot of things, polish chrome and, you know, clean general things around the house. All different types of stuff you can do with vinegar. And we have sodium bicarbonate, back getting it back to chemicals. And the, the connection here, the common bond is sodium. And I'll talk about another, you know, it'll bring us back to another rock. But this is great for um, 
you know, cleaning out stains on coffee pots, countertops, drains, and you can even brush your teeth with that. It's, it's in some toothpaste, or some people you know, kind of take it right out of the box or the jar and brush their teeth with that. And speaking of sodium, sodium dioxide, um, actually it's silicon dioxide rather, that is quartz. It's a rock and you'll find it in like beach pebbles or in a stream bed, and that's actually harder than our serpentine friend. Um, that's a Mohs hardness scale of seven. And if you go to Mount Loretto, if you go to a lot of the different beaches on Staten Island, you'll find that, that rock. And rocks change over time. I mean, you, you might not see the changes right away, but, but things like, you know, biotic factors, living things, or water, or, or weather, you know, freezing and melting, all these different things, it's called weathering. And that changes what our surfaces look like. And Mount Loretto, a good example, you see erosion. You see the different striations of, of the soil. You kind of see kind of the land kind of winnowing away a little bit. And you'll find that in a lot of coastal areas, and that is evidence of weathering. And you see a lot of other evidence. Um, you know, things have shaped the topography of Staten Island, whether something's hilly or something's flat. About 20,000 years ago, there was an ice age, you know, named for kind of the area where the glacier came from, the Wisconsin Glacier. Swooped <laughs> down here, deposited some, some till right around where I work, High Rock Park in the Greenbelt, you know, that stuff's kind of higher. And out here in the southeastern shore, you know, the portion of the island that was very much defined by the, the end of the dinosaurs, raritan McGothy rock formations, that area right there kind of dug out kind of like some pockmark, these, these holes. And, you know, places like Long Pond Park and Blue Heron Park, you know, these, these kettle hole ponds that glacier helped create those. And also what, what it did, aside from you know, the deposits, the higher land that comes, it, it put some rocks, some really big rocks. It's like, how in the world did you get there? Because I can't push it, move it. But that, that, that glacier sure was able to just kind of move something there. So, lemons, 35% of your recommended daily allowance of vitamin C. It's the highest vitamin C of any, of any citrus fruit. And believe it or not, it's powering this um, this clock. Um, we have we have copper, we have zinc, we have these electrodes, and the lemons. You could just assume to be a potato, even a can of soda. But I know I see the soda variety signs. We're not supposed to be drinking. <laughs> but um, to a base. So instead of actually having a battery in this clock, these lemons are powering this clock right now. Where is the clock? This little tiny thing right there. Look at there. that. That's fascinating. So these lemons are fast are powering this clock. Terrific. That's very interesting. Rocks and lemons so far. Are you listening? Is everybody listening? Yeah. Yeah. I know it's hard to find a connection, but speaking of cleaning products, lemons have antimicrobial. And a lot of times, you know, if you're looking to preserve something naturally, like those apple packages you have, um, vitamin C, the ascorbic acid, and that helps, um, you know, natural preservative. And, you know, wipe down a counter, you can, I'd rather, I'd much rather use um, vinegar and lemons personally than use um, ammonia and bleach. But, of course, never mix those two. You get a green gas, and that's really, um, really not so fun there. <coughs> Staten Island town names. You know, I know in the Flintstones it's like from the town of bedrock and We actually discovered, and this was even longer, you know, more than five hundred years ago, the bedrock that New York City is made out of. It's kinda of made of four different things. Inwood marble, Manhattan schist, Bronx nice, and then some some pegritite. And when they, you know, extended our water supply a bit they, um, through a water tunnel, they found that we had the New York group bed, bedrock right over here. But most of our other stuff kind of points to my Jersey Philic ways that we have three, three bridges to Jersey and one to New York. And um, Toad Hill, also known as Iserberg for iron. Iron was mined here. And Graniteville was named for a rock that it didn't actually have. Which, so, and, and again, you know, New Jersey over here, Brooklyn over there, and you could see the different. It's kind of like a big rock sandwich. Put it and wash, wash that down with some vinegar too. Mm -hmm. Sounds which great. Is, which is really good if you have allergies. It keeps some the congestion down too. So, yep. And I think that's uh, that's it for geology. I should have prepared you hopefully for all the quiz questions. We hope so. Now, one other thing: Do any of the ladies use toner on their skin? Did you know that you can use apple cider vinegar or another kind of vinegar instead and it costs about 59 cents and it doesn't have all those fake chemicals in there that they use and preservatives no, and it has a 5% acidity rate 
number. And it's really good for your nails, too. And it's good for your nails. Yeah, I know that lemon juice you can put on. Same idea. But why do we have to go to the cosmetic counter yeah. and spend, you know, three, four, five, six times as much and have bad chemicals on our skin? So, okay. Thank you, Jessica. That was great. Now let's find out if everybody was listening. And if everybody's been listening, Miss Jessica is going to ask questions. What is the name of the greenest rock found in central Staten Island with a snake-like name? Serpentinite. Yep. Serpentinite. Yay! Okay, you, you were listening. Very good. <laughs> what ponds, mostly on the south shore, were dug out from the Wisconsin Glacier? Stop. Stop. The kettle. The, the kettle. What was it? The kettle. <laughs> That's close enough. You got it. Three in a row. Kettle holes. Okay, now we go to the purple <laughs> question. And this involves the Green Partners' help. And it's worth ten points if you get it right. Okay, who wrote the words to America the Beautiful? Oh, Eight seconds. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> Catherine, Lee Bates. All right. That's what we're <laughs> going to We're going to recycle this question for the next team, okay? And now, because you got the question wrong, now we spin the wheel to find out what happens with this team to how they start, to how they play the game. Oh, you get a 10-point question. It's good if you get it right. What year was America the Beautiful written? Was it 1750, 1798, or 1893? And your green partner can help you with this. And you can help <laughs> <laughs> No pressure. Or 1893? Oh, does it go on? Does 1798? I'm sorry, it's wrong. It's 1893. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now what happens at the end of the game, a round one, and we start a new round, and we'll start with this team with a one point question. Miss Kratz. What do we call the large rocks, such as the one at High Rock Park, that, that, that High Rock Park may have been named for, that was deposited by a large sheet of ice? Ding, ding, ding. An answer, please. And your answer is? Erratics. Erratics? Facial erratics? Yes. Yes! Yay! Okay, one point for this thing. Now, great, great. You're doing great. And now, the next question. What are the two most common geological formations that make up most of southern and eastern Staten Island? You can speak up so they can hear you. We'd like to hear your reasoning skills on the show. What do you I think she just told you guys that too when she was speaking earlier. Okay, we'll take help from, in this case, we're going to get help from your green partner. Oh, I don't know the answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't listening. I was trying to be encouraging. <laughs> speak up. Stand in pebbles, I don't know. Okay, stand in pebbles. Wrong. Oh. Okay, so we recycle the question. We recycle the question. We put it there. Do the answer to the question? Do we reveal the answer to the question? Okay, we will. It's mahogany formations and raritan. Yeah. The raritan and McGothy formations. McGothy. From the Cretaceous era. Okay, so now we're back to this team. What is the name of a mineral found in many foods that was once mined from Tone Hill? Iron. Yes. Okay, one point. <laughs> Wonderful. Great. And the next question. What is the Mohs mineral hardness scale rating for serpentinite? Two. 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 Yay! One more to go before you get to the 10 point questions. Citrus fruit offers 35% of our recommended daily allowance. Lemons. Lemons. Yay! Was that three? Okay. So, for 10 points. Beautiful. Oh, spacious sky. What is recycling? A. A process of using new materials to make new materials. A process of collecting old materials into landfills a process of using old materials to make new materials, or none of the above? Using old materials to make new materials. Old materials to That's make new right. materials. That's right. Ten points. Great. Uh, Excellent. Okay. Now you get another ten point question. Uh, All right. Yeah. 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 That's what you like to say. Okay. What is a landfill? Is it a black hole? A hole in California? A place where all garbage is taken, or none of the above? A place where all garbage is taken. Yes, another 10 points. What newspaper did America the Beautiful first oh, appear goodness. in? Was it the Congregationalist, the Inquirer, or the National Intelligencer? 
Congratulations. Yes! In 1895, you're good mirage. You're not a mirage. You're, 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 you're the real thing. real Okay, for, did you write the 10 points? Yeah, yeah. Okay, don't forget. Uh -huh. The next one. Who's the composer <laughs> that wrote the music to which we sing? America the Beautiful. Well, I'm sorry. It's S.A. Ward. Okay, so now we've got some one-point questions on this side. The first half is in the wheel to see what happens for you. This will be worth two points instead of one. What is the process called for breaking down rock, soil, and minerals through contact with the Earth's atmosphere, biota, and water? Weather. Yes! I got that. That's worth two points. And the next question. They come back. What do <laughs> serpentinite and fingernails have in common? Hardness. 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 Yes. yes. And that is what? What oh, number? Oh, 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 two. Yes, <laughs> high fives! Yes! <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is a trick question. <laughs> what is the name of the scenic overlook in the Green Belt that was made from rock fill dug up on the Staten Island's Expressway was created in the 1960s, named after um, a master builder. Hint, hint, Ten Commandments. Uh, a mountain? Mount Loretta? No. Actually, it's Moses. Try and give you a hint with the Ten Commandments. Uh, but that was a trick question because she didn't cover it, so you get another chance to answer the next question. We were improvising here. <laughs> Okay, what town in Staten Island is named for a rock that doesn't exist there? Granico? Granico? Nope. Yes, I found that very interesting when we I received these questions from Miss Kratz. I was very surprised to hear that. Now we go to the 10 point question. What is the name of the tune that S.A. Ward wrote for America the Beautiful? Um, no. <laughs> okay, it was Materna. So we lost that, but we'll go, we'll start with this side now, and we'll go back and we'll start with the one point questions again. Good try though, it was a good try. What is the name of the product, which is the result of the effects of bacteria on wine, that can be used for as a natural vinegar. natural household cleaner? Yes, vinegar. All right. What's the name of that natural household cleaning product that's also known as sodium bicarbonate? Yes. yes. What is the oldest geological formation on Staten Island? The, the Ordovician one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Why? Okay. Wow. You did it again! <laughs> Auto picking <laughs> serpentinite. Very good. Beautiful. Is that because you knew it or because you heard the lady teach it? I knew it. God bless you. You're doing great for the team. Was you that, did it. you get three right just that? Yes. yes. All right, so you know what happens now? I'm so sorry. That's right. <laughs> okay, we're going to ask you true or false. Some common features of mountains include the following a gorge, a slope, a valley, an amber. Is it true or false? A gorge. A gorge, a slope, a valley, an amber. What do you think, Green Gorge? Gorge, a slope, a valley, an amber. Is it formed by now? So it's. Okay. And so the answer is true or false, Captain? True. It's false oh. because an amber is a unit of measure for an electrical current. Oh, am I saying it wrong? Oh boy. Okay, you got five points. For that. They get five points for that because I didn't pronounce it correctly. Take five points for that one. Okay. So now I'm going back to this side. Isn't this a fun game? Okay, they get some two point questions, one point questions. What is the name of the Bedrock Foundation? And I'll, I'll accept either one of the four things mentioned or the entire thing to, altogether. Found during excavation for the Richmond Water Tunnel between Staten Island and Brooklyn below the entrance to New York Harbor. Hold on one second. We forgot to spin the wheel, and uh -huh. this is going to give you pressure. Okay, so you get to help with the answer. The green partner. And so you want to hear that again, green partner? Yes. What is the name of the Bedrock Foundation, either the entire collective or any, I'll accept any of the individual components, found during excavation in the 1960s for the Richmond Water Tunnel between Staten Island and Brooklyn below the entrance to New York Harbor? Wasn't it Marble Schist and all that? Yeah, it's Schist. Is Raritan one of them? Um, which is it? Is it Schist or is it Raritan? Schist, Schist, and it's Schist. Trust your captain. That's right. Um, <laughs> yes. The New York Group, which includes Manhattan Schist, um, 
Florida Nice, um, Inwood Marble, and the Pegmatite formations. Okay, so you got a point for that. How many points do you have so far, this team? Not a lot. <laughs> not, not so many. Uh, eight. And how many points do you have on that? Ten. Forty-four. Uh, Forty-four. Okay, we're going to go back to this team now. Forty-four. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and we're going to start with that. <laughs> <laughs> I have two more. That's okay. Let them spin. Let's see if they can get a higher point. Okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> it's a democratic game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 And that causes the Alps to rise up. Is that true or false? <laughs> yes! It sounded like a fake answer oh, question, didn't it? Well, very good. So you just got 10 points. That's excellent. Now we keep on going with another 10 pointer. True or false? The largest range of mountains is the Atlantic Ocean. True or it's false? It's in the Atlantic Ocean. Thank you. Um, it's false. 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 Oh, it's true. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, but we got to 10 points. Now we spin. Whenever you get to the next team, we spin to see what happens. <gasps> 10 points again. Okay, true or false? Mountains exist on only half of all the continents. True or false? Captain? False. You are correct. You got 10 points. Okay, now you get another one like that. True or false? The highest 14 mountains in the world are all found in the Himalayas. That's false. 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 They are found there. It's true. What? Yes, that's right. So now we're going to spin the wheel again. <laughs> we have two minutes. Okay. Two points. The next one is worth two points. There you are, Ms. Kratz. Which citrus fruit with antimicrobial properties makes a great cleaning product and can also power an alarm clock? Lemon. Yay! Good visual you had there, Ms. Kratz. So you get two points on that one. And the next one, Ms. Kratz. Oh, I didn't cover it, but they may know it. What is the chemical symbol for quartz? Quartz. The yeah. chemical symbol for quartz. And it is what? SiO2, silicon oh. dioxide. Oh. Well, I tell you what, since you didn't cover it, I'm going to give you this question for two points okay. because it's kind of easy. True or false? Mountains occur, occur more often in oceans than on land. True or false? False. It's true. Some islands are the peaks of mountains coming out of the water. Okay, so one more round here. We're going to go back to this team. We're going to spin the wheel to see what happens before they get a question. Back to you. Oh, this is the first time we landed on a yellow. Back to you. I'm out of questions. Okay, and this is going to be worth one point as if we had more. True or false? Sorry about that. True or false? Because peak load plants along a mountain slope, ecosystems can change quickly from one area to the next because of peak load plants. Is that true or false? What do you think? I'm going to let the yeah. green partner help. Is it true or false? False. false. He's right. Yes, it's good. <laughs> so you just got the point for that. It's actually because of rapid changes in altitude and temperature. All right, we're going to have one more round for you guys, OK? Some mountain areas, in some mountain areas, the rivers are permanently frozen. These frozen rivers are called what? Um, no, I'm sorry, I got this. I'm frozen rivers? What are frozen rivers? <laughs> ice. Ice. And what's another name for ice? Iceberg. And another name? <laughs> Glaciers. Glaciers, you know, yes. Okay, everybody, we thank you so much for playing. Let's see, I think we know that the winners are technically in this game. This team and this school is called, look into Poor the camera Richmond. and tell you who you are. Richmond. Poor Richmond. Poor Richmond. Richmond in Staten Island. <laughs>
himself Yeah, country love saying about tonight is this America sweet America make God that go refined oh, to our success And every game divine. And you know, when I was a little boy, I remember we always sang these words. Oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, spacious skies. Ah. Oh. And the waves of rain My purple America, America, <laughs> well, God set his grace on me, <laughs> well, God set his grace on me. And thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. And if you have any thoughts or concerns or ideas for a show or questions, please contact us. Our information is below. And remember, we want to know what's on your heart.